Hello folks, this is Delbert. If you've been watching my videos, you know that in September of 2012, I got diagnosed with colon cancer. They removed it doing surgery, and the doctor suggested that I go take six months of chemotherapy. The wife and I relocated to Las Vegas, where we have family, and got an apartment, and started down the path of the chemotherapy. I took six months of full Fox 6 um, cancer treatment, got through all of that. You can watch all of the um, information on that on my videos. The biggest um, lasting effect from it was the neuropathy in my fingers. I'm happy to report that that has been greatly reduced, or in my opinion, it's probably completely over. Um, I don't have the sensation anymore. I don't have the numbness. Everything is fine. Um, my last treatment was in May, and now it is September. So that's like three months for it to subside. But again, I'm happy to report that, you know, if, if th there's a chance that if you have that neuropathy, it will go away. I can tell you that I did these videos because of all the bad information that I got on the web when I was diagnosed. It kind of got me concerned, got me really scared of, am, am I going to have all of these horrible, horrible side effects and sickness and everything else that goes with it? Well, you can watch my videos. I'm also here to tell you I survived it. Everything's looking good. Um, in May, I had, late May, I had my MRI or CT scan, and the doctor said that came out clear. It, this is now May or September 16th, rather, and I've just had my follow-up colonoscopy. The doctors say that's absolutely clear, no polyps, nothing to take a biopsy of. Everything's fine there, so it looks like I'm getting good news all the way around. Now to speak for a minute about these colonoscopies. This is my third one. Years and years ago, uh, 12 years ago, my first one, and I'm, I'm like 49 now. Um, the prep for it was absolutely horrendous. Had to take this small bottle of citrus malinate or something like that and a gallon of this liquid. It tasted horrible, hard to get down. When it did its job, it was extremely violent. I mean, I literally sat in the restroom forever. The second one that I had, which was in September of 2012, the doctor there had changed his process over to some Ducalax tablets, some other medicine, and then a gallon of Gatorade. He had a few choices of liquids, but I chose Gatorade. And I can tell you, do not ever agree to drink a gallon, unless if it's of water, of the exact same liquid. Absolutely horrible. But got it down, but the, the result was exactly the same. When it started doing its job, it was extremely violent. Couldn't get out of the restroom for hours. Um, I'm happy to report this time the doctor gave me a choice of trying a new medicine that was out on the market. This um, stuff here, and I can't really pronounce it, but in any case, it um, this is what they offered me, and they said that it was going to be a much better solution. I can report it was absolutely wonderful compared to the other preps that I'd been given. Um, the first day I was to take two Ducalax tablets after dinner. No big deal with those. Those didn't do anything that I recognized, nothing that really comes to mind. The day before the colonoscopy, I was to take one packet of that powder mix in a five ounces of water, stir it up extremely well, drink it and then five eight ounce glasses of just water and it didn't have an immediate effect it probably took about a half hour but it did its job it wasn't violent at all just had to go to the restroom did its thing um no real big deal the day of the colonoscopy i got up really early started the prep about six o'clock took the other packet of, of powder mixed it up in water drank it, drank the three eight ounce glasses of water after it. No big deal, half hour later it did its job. Again, very gentle, especially compared to my last experiences. 
So, you know, if your doctor offers you one of these new treatments, you're just going to have to weigh out the cost. The first couple of people that I read on the web that were taking them, the, the price of it was about $200. I would not have taken it if it was $200. I would have went back to the Gatorade. But when we checked with our insurance, our cost was about $50. We were already paying $20, $25 for the previous medicines. Uh, um, so the extra didn't bother us at all. And again, I'm very happy to report if I have to do another colonoscopy, this is the way for me. Um, in a couple of days, I'll be going back to my oncologist for a follow-up where he gets the results of the colonoscopy and checks my blood work and does everything. We expect everything to be absolutely fine with all of that and get a clean bill of health and be told to go on our way. Um, in the last few months, We've already been out traveling in our new travel trailer. The apartment's all cleared out and gone. We don't have it anymore. We've been living in the travel trailer now for uh, about two months. Um, and we're getting ready to get back on the road. Um, during the last couple of months, we've been up to Klamath Falls, Oregon to visit the, the grandbaby. And we've been down to Tracy, California to visit grandma and the relatives there. And then back here to Vegas where we've stayed for a month, get these couple of doctor's appointments out of the way, and we're getting ready to leave from here and go over to Orange, California, where we'll go on a couple of cruises out of there and get some bonus points racked up. Then in early December, we'll be back here to Samstown RV Park to have some more final, hopefully final, doctor's appointments and then get on the road. Need to get back to Mardi Gras, need to get to Niagara Falls, Maine for some lobster rolls, and then maybe down to um, Florida to go see Disney World and everything. But again, I hope you've enjoyed these videos. I've enjoyed making them. Uh, my, my sole goal was to be able to present the average guy having to go through this so that people who have to follow me on this path can have a balanced message. You know, I've been able to work my entire time that I was on the chemotherapy. It wasn't all lovely. My videos very clearly ex um, explain the days that I was having, you know, really, really bad. Had a great support system around me with my wife, who was truly wonderful in dealing with this, and the family who understood that the day we take off that pump and for two days later, it's not the best day to visit. But, after those two days are up, I'm free for another seven to ten days to go do what I want to do, and I survived it. So I hope that your experiences, while not pleasant, are at least doable and not all the bad information that you get on the web. Um, Lee, hope yours all went well. I, I, I got your messages that, that you were on your final ones. Um, for me, the neuropathy is gone. I'm hoping you're not experiencing it at all. And for the few other people that have left me messages with their themselves taking this and their family, I hope everything works out really, really well for you guys. And I hope the videos have helped. Thank you.